This pattern is what I term the open hearts pattern, it's part of a floor. Uh, you can see here, these are the heart shapes, the top of the heart, and the bottom is open where they switch back on themselves. So here's another heart shape, here's the other heart shape, here's the other heart, and they all switch back. And what you will find if you follow the pattern round is that they are in fact just one strand completes this whole section. As usual in these, you start off setting the single white center tesserae, then you set your black lines, the bordering for either side of the strand. You can see there's your triangles as the black lines curve around the single white center tesserae. Then the colors here, you can see your keystone cuts as needed to bring those curves around. Here we've got the dead areas. This is uh, if you basically pull this mosaic up, if you picked it up, if you could grab it by the strands, these are just daylight that you can see through. So it doesn't matter if some of these areas are slightly different size or shape. You can see here on this area there's two lines, but in here it's three. That doesn't matter there. They are just space between the strands. One thing to note on this is these switchbacks here. This is where the tesserae cut back on themselves. Now it can be quite difficult to get these points, to get these coming out as far as you need to because the you have to fill this gap just with three tesserae. So if we look at this drawing here, this is the ideal, there's your two black lines and then you just have one, two, three and say like a, a diamond set shape and then the lines go back from there. But what you'll have to do is if you have larger tesserae, you'll have to use these. You'll have to space them apart a little bit more because it just doesn't work that you can have it as neat as this. If we look at some close, you can see where they've been built up. You can see here there's more on the end of the red there. I'll get you some close-ups in a minute. Uh, and it's just needed to be done because otherwise it won't stretch out to that corner a close-up drawing you can see this is if it were uh, if it would fit neatly but if not then you can see here's a couple of ways of doing it I've added another uh, tesserae into there and then the triangle on the end these two lines have closed in so they effectively give another tesserae with a triangle on there which moves it further into that gap you can compare it to here there's just one tesserae on the end here the end is two tesserae which does mean that it goes further into the corner. So again on these switchbacks you're going to have to do what you can to extend the line out and you look in some of the original mosaics you will see that sometimes they've actually added an extra line so you might have these line of white tesserae suddenly going into two lines here just to get that width to take it out on the switchback.